What's good everybody? It's your boy DB Kicks, man. We're back with another video. In today's video, I'll be doing three different looks for the Air Jordan 1 Palomino. This Jordan 1 is hitting just in time for fall. Had to grab it. It's perfect for fall. So let's go ahead and get straight into the fits. And then I'll give you guys my opinion on the sneaker at the end of this video. All right, so being that this sneaker is fall friendly black, brown, that nice hit of yellow. All right, so let's kick off the first look, playing off of that yellow. I wanted to do something along the lines of um, a casual look, being that this Jordan 1, in my opinion, is like one of those grown man colorways. I've spoke about that before with Jordans, such as the Jordan 3 Desert Elephant. This is a yellow Carhartt Work in Progress t-shirt. I spoke about these shirts plenty and plenty of times. Just dig through some of my playlists and you guys will see that. Matching the yellow on the tongue, the pants are a pair of J. Crew skinny slacks. Now they're not too, too skinny. In my opinion, they fit just right. Let me know what you guys think about the fit of these pants. I mean, a pair of khakis, just you can't go wrong with a pair of khakis. It's very essential for a men's wardrobe in my opinion. But to finish this look off, I did throw on a denim trucker jacket. This is from Uniqlo. Again, it's already September, fall will be here before you know it. So you guys can run this video up and watch it. And by the time you guys get your pair and you get your outfits together, it starts getting cooler outside. This is gonna hit just in time. I love this trucker jacket. It is a lighter denim. This entire outfit is a bit light and the shoe's very dark. So what I did to make the shoe pop a little bit more, throw in some sail laces. Everybody loves the sail laces, right? But I think Jordan 1 Palominos with the sail laces, it works to complement the midsole and it just brings the outfit out a little bit more what they black fear god essentials fitted cap let me, let me just grab these things man these, these things are fire next outfit for the air jordan one palomino we've got something a little bit more on the relaxed side this is a pair of abercrombie and fitch pants i don't remember the name of these so sorry for that but i've had them for a while so you're probably not going to find them anyways but they are a pair of like lightweight uh tapered chinos but they're very soft fabric, very loose, a relaxed fit, I guess. They don't have any like belt loops or anything like that. It's like a drawstring waist. So it's very different, but they're super comfortable. They come cuffed just like this straight out of the pack. So they sit on the Air Jordan 1 very nicely, very relaxed, comfortable look. And you can't get more comfortable than a Uniqlo Airism t-shirt. This is the all black joint right here. Very clean look. This is a plain fit. So to make this outfit stand out more, had to add some gold accents with the gold Movado watch, the gold Sanucci bracelet, and a gold chain, all right? And on top of that, finally scooped up a new cap. This is a Stussy black mesh um, trucker hat. It's like a matte black. I, I really like the look of this hat. I think it fits the outfit very, very well. A little bit different from what I'm used to, so let me know what you guys think. Very dope, in my opinion. I'm digging it. I'm gonna rock it today for Labor Day. But yeah, so black Susie cap, a relaxed fit Uniqlo boxy t-shirt, the airism material, a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch pants, and you're good to go. This is a very calm, collected outfit, but it's effective, you know? You don't have to do too much when it comes to, to, to styling sneakers, in my opinion. You just, you know, do, do what you do you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you guys exactly what to wear, but this is just how I personally like to style my sneakers all right all right last outfit one of my favorite looks to do when it comes around to the fall season is a nice flannel so this is a nice brush flannel from pac sun you can get these for like 40 dollars. you know they're not not too expensive I, I have like one or two other pac sun flannels i think and i've had it for years and i still wear them to this day with the white uniqlo t-shirt up under that and my favorite some olive cargo pants these are ralph lawrence these are perfect. I, I've had people ask me in the past, where can I get them? I got lucky. I found these at Marshall's, I think three or four years ago for like 50 bucks, but they go for over a hundred dollars. And I don't know if they even make these anymore. So I apologize for that. But the perfect shade of green with the brown, you know what I'm saying? We're going earth tones. We're going full earth tones with this outfit and a brown essential sphere guide fitted cap. And I love how this Paxton flannel um, has just multiple shades of brown with the white uh like a caramel type color plays off of the tongue very very well so those are the three looks for the air jordan one palomino let me know what you guys think about all of these looks i'll link everything in the description box below and let's just end this video off with my thoughts on this shoe so overall the air jordan one palomino is a great jordan one i think 
the yellow hits make it different enough from the Air Jordan 1 Mocha and the Travis Scott and those kind of Jordan 1s. It, it just makes it different enough to where I was like, okay, I feel like I'm not buying the same exact shoe. You have that classic um, black and red Jordan 1 color blocking. If you guys don't know, to some people really might not know, but red color blocking so you guys can see where that inspiration is coming from. And Jordan brand know what they're doing. Me personally, I, I love Jordan 1s. I've, you know, I've been copying them for a long, long time now, and I, I do get tired of them sometimes, but this one, this one got me, and that black toe low, it got me for sure, it pulled me right back in. But very grown, uh, this is a grown man, Jordan 1. Uh, it sold out, from what I see, it sold out very, very fast, which does not surprise me. So I don't know why everybody on YouTube is acting like they're surprised that these sold out, because this, this color combo, it, it doesn't get old, it's right on trend falls around the corner so I don't know why people were surprised that these were gone so fast but oh like I said overall great shoe great materials the new buck is a, a little bit of a different type of feel to it, it does kind of scratch up so you guys might not like that or you might like it in my opinion it gives it like a nice authentic rugged look um, smooth black leather nothing crazy cream midsole brown outsole and you're good to go. I actually do like these more than the Jordan 1 Mochas. I had the Mochas and I sold them, but I like these better. So I appreciate you guys coming through, man, showing love to the channel. Again, let me know what you guys think about the outfits. And your boy, DB Kicks, is out.